Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have a diamond painting unboxing for you today. This is by the company LCOZX. They are out on Amazon. So, let's take a look. I will link this company down below in the description. They have a number of diamond paintings for you to pick from, and you can also do a custom. So that is what I opted to do. This is the picture that I selected. So in the box, which is nice, it comes in um, this wrapping. So, but it does come in a box so the, the canvas won't get as crushed. And the canvas itself is rolled on a foam core, which is always nice. Especially when the, the package itself is not sent in um, a box on the outside, right? So, looks like the drills are rubber banded to the canvas so we will have a look at this second let me get out my scissors here because it is wrapped in cellophane as you can see already it does have the opaque covering so that gives you the clue that, oops, sorry, bumped my camera stand, um, that it is double-sided adhesive and not poured glue. So there's always the chance there may be a little bit more of an issue with the double-sided adhesive. Poured glue you typically don't have a problem with at all. But with this being wrapped on a foam core, most of the time, most, not always, but most of the time, you don't have a problem. Now, <laughs> being wrapped around a foam core is nice, but it does make your canvas always curl a lot. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Okay, this is a 35 by 45. Here I have a thumbnail of the picture, which we will take a look at. Here is our color key. There are 21 colors in here. Then we have the symbol, or in this case, they are all numbers with a couple of, oh no, uh, numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then the alphabet. Always nice when they skip B because Bs can look like eights on the canvas, right? And E they skipped, L they skipped, M, because sometimes M and Ns can look similar. So they were conscious of, or conscientious I should say, of uh, their symbol key. And then we do have the DMC code for those of us who like to save our drills. Always nice when they include that on the canvas. So we do have just the color key in the upper left. It is not down in the lower right. Let's take a look. Here is their company name on top. It does state that it is photo so that it is a custom. When you have double-sided adhesive, it always helps to rub down the corner. So when you lift up the covering, you're not, not going to actually lift up the adhesive also. can make it a little bit harder to start it out, but rather have that than lifting up the adhesive, right? So you then want to be a little careful pulling this up initially so it doesn't rip. And many times I do it anyhow. Okay, and this is in two strips rather than one large one. I typically take these off anyhow 
and I replace it with my parchment squares as I am doing the diamond painting. Okay, we'll pull it down to here. Now again, with these opaque coverings, when you remove the covering, um, it will help to flatten out the canvas a lot. Let's get this baby going. Okay, let's, let's go in the other corner then. Be stubborn. And let's see if we see any issues. Hmm, I do. Unfortunately, I do. Can you see it in the camera? Now these, some of these are just creases from the canvas being rolled. That is not going to be an issue. The, the drills will lay flat. But I do see some rivers in here. That doesn't mean you cannot do this kit, however. All you do to flatten these out and get, it's like an air bubble, okay? You take a little X-Acto knife, the smaller the better, and you lightly cut through that and you put this back on and you smooth it out. That will remove that air from underneath that little bubble and it's fine then. Um, but, you know, you, you, it's always nice when you don't have to do that extra step. So let's see what the rest of it looks like. I do see a couple more rivers in here. So I always want to be, you know, truthful with you guys when I do these unboxings or diamond painting on baggings. If I do see any issues with the diamond painting, and I always try to be careful with, you know, removing the plastic, the opaque covering, because sometimes, and I'm hoping I'm not doing it myself, uh, sometimes how you remove the covering you can make those yourself, you know, the rivers and stuff. So I I hope I am not doing that myself. Now, these are just creases. Um, I typically iron my canvases uh, before I do them anyhow to help flatten them. These will iron out. These are not rivers. So those will not be an issue. These are not rivers. Really, this only one I see that is a river is up in here that one that I think is nope that is a river the rest of these are just creases so again they're not going to be an issue let me put this back up I'm going to open it from open it <laughs> I am going to take the opaque covering off from the other side so I don't remove it completely because I am not going to be putting um, my parchment squares on right away. So I want to keep this covering on. Again, trying to be mindful of how we take this covering off. I'm surprised there are this many creases in it considering the fact it was rolled around a foam core. Oh, it is very, very sticky. <laughs> Again, these are all creases. They are not rivers. So they are not going to affect the drilling. There is a river here though. So that will have to be fixed. All right. Let's take a look at the symbols themselves. Let's see if they are clear. Apologize for the glare. I do have my lights on.
The symbols themselves look pretty good. Very legible. So that should not be a problem. This is a full round. And I am going to show you now the thumbnail picture. Put this back down. So let's zoom in. I love this picture. It is a pair of hands letting a butterfly go. I don't know if you can see the butterfly. It's quite light. But isn't that pretty? And then the sun rays in the background. So a lot of light colors with the exception of the hand. But you can see all the colors in here. So yeah, quite a few light colors. So the canvas itself, with the exception of a couple of rivers, yes, I have seen better canvases, but it is still a doable diamond painting. Let's take a look at the drills. So this typically is how you receive diamond paintings when you order them, say, from AliExpress. Many of them do come, not all, but many of them do come with the double-sided adhesive with the opaque coverings. And they do not come pre-bagged. They do come with the little packets that have approximately 200 drills in each packet. They always give you extra. There's actually about 215, 220 um, in each packet. So you do get quite a few extra drills. Okay, so as I do with all new companies that I review, I do take the drills out of the packet and we do look at them a little more closely than companies that I have reviewed for before. So we do get an inventory sheet, which you typically do when you get the drills like this. If they come pre-bagged, you don't because those are weighed by grams um, rather than counted like this. When you do get them like this and you get an inventory sheet, it's a good idea, or what many of us do, we go through the inventory we go through the DMC code, which is printed on the bags. You count the number of bags, compare it to how many bags you're supposed to have, and just make sure that you have all the colors that you're supposed to. And if you are missing something or you know, you're know you short um, some drills, um, most companies are great to deal with and they will send you uh, what you are missing. So it's always a good idea to contact them first um, unless, you know, you're just missing one or two and you would just prefer to go on Etsy. There are many sellers. I like, uh, I think, believe it's called Diamond Drills USA. Um, I think that I have ordered a number of times through and you get your drills quite quickly. So here is, again, our inventory sheet has our symbol here. Again, the DMC code, how many total drills you're supposed to have, and then the number of bags. So for instance, color 154, which is a deep purple, has the most <laughs> with 18 packets or bags. Um, there are a total of 85 bags and a total of almost 15,000 drills. I don't think I've ever seen totals on an inventory sheet. Interesting. Kind of gives you an idea though. This is kind of interesting, right? Almost 15,000 drills in a 35 by 45. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so let's take a look at the drills themselves. We do have your standard tool kit with your green tray, single placer, drill pen, does have the, uh, is it the straightener or the multi-placer? 
I believe the multi-placer, nine, nine drill multi-placer. And you do have quite a few baggies in here. So let's take a look at these pretty colors. This, of course, for the dark hands, we have a lot of 310s, which, yeah, if you've diamond painted at all, you know 310 is black. <laughs> yes. A lot of the rust color. You have a little bit of purple. Beautiful oranges. Again, these are all rounds. I've mentioned this in the past. I'll mention it again. If you have a drill number that can be looked at this way or upside down and you're not sure what the number is, say uh, color 666 is a DMC code. Is it 666 or is it 999? Um, you look at one that you are positive you know what the number is. You're gonna see one of the edges is crimped shut heat sealed so that is going to give you a clue say if this is 666 that it's not going to be 999 because the crimped edge is always going to be on the right hand side in this particular case so you know it's going this way you know for sure that that is 666 or say it's 809 is it 809 or is it 608 <laughs> right it does happen so, just a, a little tip. So we have some pretty peach, pretty yellow. Beautiful colors. So I can't wait to see if this looks like finished. Here is some, um, what are they? Yeah, I like it when they print these in gold because they're easier to read. Uh, 3802s. I mean, these are still legible, but sometimes when they're darker colors like that, you have to kind of shift it in the light. <laughs> Here are the, um, that 154, that real deep, deep purple, which we have the most of. <laughs> so again, I will go ahead, go through the inventory, make sure that I have everything. I will do that off camera though so as to not bore you to death but aren't these colors pretty I thought there would be a lot more real light colors because the image looks real light evidently it's not going to be as light as because yeah here it looks really light um, the image that I sent in is not quite that light it's a little bit more colorful so I think this is maybe just a little bit washed out and when I look at the color of the drills I can tell it's going to look more like the actual picture that I did send them so not a pretty pink so we do have some really pretty pinks in here too yes so uh, there you have it I am going to leave this out. So again, this is a custom that I ordered from LCOZX. And again, I will link the company down below, well, to this particular diamond painting from Amazon. If you would like to go check them out yourself. Like I said, there are a number of different diamond paintings that you can select from when you go to this particular link. Or you can also order a custom like I did. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the unboxing of this diamond painting. Here is a better look at the thumbnail where it is not so light and you can kind of see it a little bit better. That is more the colors that are actually in the picture. And again, with the look of the drills, just looking at them, I can tell it is actually going to look like this picture. So there you can see the sun rays and the butterfly much more clearer. All right, so there you have it again.
<laughs> so yes if you enjoyed the unboxing of this diamond painting please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel i hope everybody's having a terrific day and as always happy coloring and happy diamond painting bye guys